Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. I'm High Lord Tamberlane. And I'm Barzam. My younger brother. And this bubble wrap package that's been torn to shreds is none other than a big bundle of 15 millimeter funk. What do we got? We have the Red Redemption Value Pack from Alternative Armies. Value. Okay, we've got all kinds of teeny tiny itty bitty little dudes here. Let's Lots get them. Lots of nice unpainted metal. The best kind of metal. Alright. So. He looks like he's fishing. So, if you give me just a moment, I'll pull up that faction and try to tell you what each of these guys are. What faction is this? So, these are the Redemptionists. That's right. And if that sounds familiar to you, it should. It doesn't. Well, if you played Necromunda, that name should sound familiar to you. Like Redemptionists is like the Flaming Head dudes? Yes. See, these guys come from Laser Burn. And if you're not familiar with Laser Burn... Laser Burn. It's pretty much the predecessor to Warhammer 40k. Okay. Laser Burn was produced by several people who would go on to eventually make 40k and Rogue Trader, such as Brian Ansel. Hmm. So, so who's the dude with the fishing pole? Oh, uh, that is... I like this guy. He's got like a jetpack and a big old Chaos Warrior vibe going so on. The dude with the fishing pole is a Lord Redemptionist with Force Axe. So you'll okay. notice there's going to be a lot of terms that sound very familiar if you're familiar at all with 40k. Like I said, this is its predecessor. So similar to uh, Micro Man, as Micro Man and Diaclone are to Transformers, Laser Burn is the same to 40k. A lot of concepts were this looks basically like cherry picked out of it and Torquemada transferred from transferred over to it. This is totally Torquemada from uh, Nemesis the Warlock. And that wouldn't surprise me at all because this line also had some lawgivers that were very clearly judges from Judge Dredd. I mean, look at that helmet. It's either that or he's... Um, that is a redemptionist commander you're holding. It's either Torquemada or, I'm trying to think, the, the one guy from the ABC Warriors. So these guys would eventually <laughs> be resurrected in uh, Necromunda as the redemptionists. But here... They didn't the, have, like, giant dreadnought-sized power-armored chaos yeah, warrior. I mean, that guy's that pretty... is a dreadnought. So, eventually in 40K, these would become tactical dreadnoughts or Boop. terminators. Okay. So, some of the similar concepts, such as terminators, power armor, plasma rifles, melt-a-guns, las rifles, bolters, those were all present in laser burn. Considering how old these sculpts are, I mean, the, the detail at least is still there. No, and these figures especially have really withstood the test of time. I mean, this is early 80s that you're looking at. These figures are older than me. Okay, so it looks like each unit is all the same pose as I... Yeah, so there should be multiples of each sculpt in there. Okay, yeah, I found three of that one. So here's another dreadnought and guy. So if is this curious, a sniper? He is actually carrying a missile launcher, I believe. Okay. Yeah. And if you're curious how those dreadnoughts look painted up, I happen to have one that's actually painted. Yeah, that looks much nicer. <laughs> I'm assuming you're continuing to deface our, our American currency. Oh, of course. To base your guys. <gasps> no! No! What kind of American are you? <laughs> you're anti-American. What is this? So, one yen uh, coins are actually slightly larger than American pennies, and they are perfectly sized. Yeah, no, no, nobody, nobody uses one yen coins. And it actually gives them a use. So, do you have any of these guys painted? No, I haven't touched these guys yet. Other than that dreadnought. Other than the dreadnought. I'd seen which him when you gave you... to me for Christmas. Yeah. In a bag of random. <laughs> a bag of totally stuff. random alternative army stuff, yes. So that's one of the nice things about Alternative Armies is they've got a lot of old funk and recent funk that is equally bizarre. How do they how do they can recommend painting these things? So the ones that they show on the website, uh, they're using silver and gold armor with purple robes. For some reason, the masks almost remind me of like a Doctor Who villain. Uh, sounds about <laughs> right. They're meant to be pretty pulpy. It looks like an old Cyberman head or something. Now, Look, I will what's not this be guy? painting these guys silver. 
Mine are going to be wearing white armor. Okay. We'll be keeping the purple. They don't have any bare-headed guys, though. I don't right? think so. Okay, they all have masks of some sort. They don't have any kind of power armor other than the Dreadnought, do they? They... I don't think so, but there is power armor. Oh, no, there is. The Redemptionist Disciple is decked out in power armor. But I don't... I have don't one yeah, I was going to say, you don't have one. Well, this guy might have... I don't know what that guy's wearing. He might be in power armor. He's at least wearing heavy armor. So it seems like you get a... Oh, I'm not even... There's even more guys over here in this so, set. Jeez. This basically provides all of the basic infantry units for the for this this uh, faction. So you got Redemptionist commanders. There's a Redemptionist with a laser rifle. There's a flamer. You got a beamer. Which Beamers. I, which I assume is actually just a regular lab rifle. You got rocket launchers. You've got auto lasers. You've got support bolt guns, force axes. There should be a dude with a pistol. There and, was the Torquemada looking dude. And you've got the Dreadnought, which is armed with what's called a sun gun, which is pretty much a melter rifle. Hmm. So is this everything, like if we were actually to play Laser Burn, is this enough? This, is, I believe, is for more one than side? enough. Because um, wasn't it, if I remember correctly, wasn't it supposed to be like more of an RPG? Yes, that... la I have the rules for Laser Burn. I've looked through them. And they are... Fairly RPG let me see. Let me see that rule book. Just, just to show everybody. Because Alternative Armies does put out a fair amount of rule books, but this is like old school. Check out that font. It's like, oh, beauty. It, you could tell this was like originally typed up on, a, on an old typewriter. So if you like tables... Oh yeah, and there's a lot of tables for this game. It's very narrative driven, and it seems like a lot of it is Ooh. really just meant to be more, you know, throw whatever you want on the table and do some light role playing with it. Price and availability of weapons and equipment, oh yeah, table porn. <laughs> so yeah. Interesting stuff. So um, I'm going to put a link down below in case you're curious. They do run deals fairly often oh, their on. Their stuff is really reasonably priced. Yeah. An individual figure will cost you about 40 pence. The only frustrating thing is having to pay shipping, but the nice thing is Alternative Armies does run free shipping or reduced cost or flat rate shipping fairly often. So if you are interested, I suggest join their mailing list or their Facebook page. They actually had a deal. It is going to last until September 1st for two pound flat shipping. Yeah, well, that's. Which won't do you. <laughs> I was like, we're good. filming this the day before that happens. But so. My point is, they, they do these pretty often. Do you have any other 15 millimeter stuff handy to. I do, as just a matter of fact. Out of curiosity. So, in case you're wondering, I have nothing sci fi handy. I do have a couple Battle of Valor models. One of their Seven Samurai and one of their, I want to say it was a Phrygian hero, but. They're a lot bigger, and that's just Battle Valor. So. And, but if you want some sci-fi... Oh, what is this? Oh my god, it's more laser burn. Painted laser burn, no less. Actually, that looks pretty nice. So, what these guys are, if you can get into the shot... These are Imperial Space Marines. And they are straight up called Imperial Space Marines. Are these Blood Angels? I'm just going by the color scheme they had on the website because I thought it looked cool. Back when Blood Angels were actually red? Yep. <laughs> They're still red. They're fancy orange. So, these two fellows in the front are actually decked out in power armor. The guy on the left has a plasma cannon that is hooked up to his backpack. The other dude has machine guns mounted on his arms. Wait, what's his name? The one ultramarine dude? Arnie's Calgar? Yeah, Calgar. That's the name I'm thinking of. And then we've got this guy. I think I'm responsible for this one, Mr. too. I mean, this guy looks like a Suntaran from Doctor Who. Yeah. That is the Imperial Space Marines Dreadnought. So, that is a Terminator. I was going to say. That is what the Terminators originally looked like. With his Cyclone launcher there? Pretty much, and he's got Storm Bolters on his arms. You did a nice job on the painting on this guy. <laughs> I always do a nice job on it almost makes me want to paint more 15 millimeter stuff. Almost being the key word. So here's a few more of them. 
and I've actually painted up a sizable skirmish force for these guys. And here's an officer with his power sword. Force sword. So interestingly, the weaponry these guys are armed with, you'll find heavy bolters, support bolters, grenade launchers, las rifles, sun guns, and conversion beamers. So the 40k conversion beamer actually comes from laser burn. And if you read the description of it in the book, it's exactly the same, the way it works. Is this guy a Terminator? That is not. That is just regular power armor. He's big. So these guys are not wearing power armor in the world. Apparently not. Huh. And there's also... I don't like these guys quite as much because their sculpts are a lot softer than the other Marines. These guys are the Black Guard, which... What's up with his face? Yeah, he's got like a thing over his face. I don't know what's up with their sculpts. They look... I hate to say they almost look like chimpanzees or something. They look... Their sculpts are a lot softer than the other Marines. These are Marines? Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they're something akin to the Custodes. There's nothing really describing them in the rule book that I recall. But, interestingly, for the Imperial Faction, you also have scouts wearing white armor, same as in 40K, but they also have Imperial Navy personnel, hmm. which GW has never made, as far as I'm aware, in 40K. I thought there might have been some might have been one-off like model in one. Forge World or something. That's well, we the, have the Navigator now. From that's the dude with the conversion beamer you were just holding. This guy? Yep. All right, conversion beamer, which looks suspiciously like a heavy las cannon. Looks like a giant flashlight to me. Oh. <laughs> Very cool stuff, and I'm quite curious to see what these models look like. So, you'll have to bring them by once you get them painted. Yeah, once I get them painted, I'll you know, hand some off to you to show, show off. off. That would be cool. All right, well, hopefully, as I said, I will put a link down below if you want to check out Alternative Army's website. They have all kinds of, as we have both told you, interesting funk in 15 millimeter as well as 28, oh, with yeah, like Flintlock and yeah. Slaughterloo and all the other games they've run over the years. So check them out, and hopefully you guys will be checking more of our videos out. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and, and we would like to thank you for watching, and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.